Hey guys, this is a demo of our SpeciaText converter powered by Google SpeciaText API. It's created with lot of latest Laravel framework and it has nice basically a front end uh, which is ready to go. You can use as you want. Um, and has a powerful backend as well. So login. Um, you can create your own account. It's um, publicly available at Google's page per kind of space. Uh, and also we provided some demo credentials as well. So you can log in as an admin. So default one is the admin. It has um, out of the features are limited for testing purposes, but still you can test um, audio files in a limited size or record uh, your own uh, voice for a limited duration um, and so let's see what we have in the admin panel and also in user panel so the admin panel is the far as, as the name implies is available only for admin groups user with admin groups and it's break it's broken down into uh, several sections here uh, so first of all you have your dashboard where you can see the total number of connected well, registered users the total time that was transcribed and total transcribed tasks, including estimated spending um, that uh, Google charges you for their speech text API. Now, these are estimation based on the current price of um, uh, speech to text conversion uh, per second, um, but you pretty much get the accurate information here. And also, Google um, provides you up to 60 minutes free of um, speech to text conversion per month, uh, which means you can, uh, and it's an unlim unlimited peer, uh, period. So you can use always, pretty much always, um, a 60 minute every month of um, uh, free speech text conversion uh, with this script. Um, so let's go ahead and see what we have in the under speech text management. So you you will first of all see speech text dashboard. It's a dashboard which has graphs of uh, brand. Basically, I'll just open it. It is a um, graph of in terms of. Um, how the tasks were split, uh, whether it was uh, what's the number of upload and transcribe tasks um, tasks versus record and transcribe tasks tasks. We'll, I'll show it as well, and the words generated. You also see how many minutes convert were converted under um, Google's uh, speech text APIs. Uh, you can see re all the results of all your users. Um, so here, people were using uh, our demo uh, user account. Um, but nevertheless, as you can see, all the results here, and uh, you can dive deep into the further details. Uh, if I'll just open first of them, uh, let me actually play this. It is um, so someone recorded, so it's a recording of um, Spanish language with Colombian accent. Esta es una grabación de prueba para mirar la calidad de transcripción que tiene el software. So I'm not, I don't know if you were able to hear the, the voice, but I pretty much transcribed it accurately, as you can see here. And the reason why these durations are sh short in timing, it's because we set um, the timing here for the demo um, as a limited seconds. Um, so you will see it there. You can have a look at the rest of the examples here based on the languages. Um, that, that you speak or that uh, you can do the actual testing by yourself and the speech is the text available um, the link for the script is available under the description um, and there is also a nice buy now button which will redirect to the cloud canyon uh, platform where you can get the entire source code um, with the documentation how to install it and run it um, we will be releasing a second video in terms of how to configure uh, Google speech to text API, uh, but this is a demo in terms of the entire script itself. You can also configure your language in terms of you can define and change which one would be available. You can block all of them or you can enable all of them, uh, whatever you prefer. And under the speech to text configuration is the place where you set your settings as you need. Um, so first of all, you'll need to have your Google configuration uh, JSON file. Uh, and that's also explained in documentation how to get, you'll need to create Google storage packet, uh, bucket 
and set the proper policies also explained in documentation and here where you can set the maximum number of uh, files the file size and the file durations as you can see here we defined two options one is for user groups the other one is for admins um, so for example for yourself you might support a larger files uh, let's say up to 10 megabyte and for your users you can find support smaller files uh, let's say maybe three megabyte files and um, the length audio length is defined both for the uploaded files and recorded files um, uh, recorded audio files and uh, google doesn't have limitation in terms of the audio file size but it does have limitation on terms of the audio length so the maximum audio length is support is 480 minutes uh, which is more than enough but still if um, that the limitation is defined by um, google so you need to be aware of that uh, at the moment we support file formats in wav and then a uh, flag uh, so with future updates we will be adding support for um, mp3 and perhaps ogg as well ogg um, you can also include free welcome minutes uh, for your for your users uh, whatever minutes you prefer to give them now if you go to the user management panel you can see all the information about uh, registered users from which countries they are and then the, who is online when how many people visit today etc and then um, statistics in terms of um, the when they were registered and the also break breaking uh, breaking down in terms of the a month split at which, at which months how many users were uh, registered you can also see entire list of users um, you can enable them uh, I mean you can block them uh, you can delete them if you want uh, you can add credits uh, like as an example here well it's a limited demo so I will not be able to add credits um, but here you can just add credits and make it 3000 instead of 3 for example and you can you can make a user an admin so if, for example if I click on any user I can change their group from user to administrator and click save or I can block them uh, suspend or deactivate their accounts easily with just a couple clicks uh, activity monitoring is basically well in terms of which users are currently connected and so forth uh, users can create support tickets uh, you can exp you can answer them here on this panel on the notification um, you are uh, able to create notifi mass notifications for all your users um, I don't know notify about some changes or upcoming updates uh, whatever you prefer and you also get automated system notification in terms of uh, when uh, users were uh, I mean if the users were registered successfully and so on and so forth as you can see we have a lot of notifications here now I'm going to the general settings I think I'll just highlight that the based on their naming without opening each one of them uh, so on the global settings you define the uh, website naming and then um, in terms of the provide various information such as the main email address the time zone and so on and so forth on the SEO and logos as the name implies is the place where you can change the logos so instead of Google speech you can put your own logo and then um, set the um, SEO keywords such as uh, keywords for your website to make it uh, more search engine optimized um, and so forth the front end settings you can enable and disable uh, various sections of the landing page that you saw up front uh, with just a couple clicks and define your uh, social uh, social like um, social media accounts as well the block manager as the name implies is a place where you can create blocks uh, frequent ask questions is a place where you can easily create um, question and answers uh, to simplify uh, things for your users out section is the place where you can uh, let me go ahead and open this uh, so very basically you can here enable um, or disable logging in with social media and you can as you can see you can log in with Facebook Twitter Google and LinkedIn you'll have to put uh, proper uh, API keys here now on the registration settings is the place where you can uh, enable user email verification or, or completely enable or disable uh, user registration so that's something to be aware SMTP settings are basically your email settings which are needed for email verification 
and the database backup is as the name implies is for backing up your existing database you can do it manually uh, you can and it's an optional feature activation is the place where you activate the script um, you get the activation code again from Gold Canyon link is under description now upgrade software is uh, from time to time we release um, updates so as I mentioned the script will support um, the new version of mp3 file formats uh, so you can easily click uh, with uh, one click update. The reason why mp3 was not included is because at the time when the script was created uh, mp3 was still in beta. Uh, the support for mp3 file formats were in beta and it was not released until recently. And it's still in beta to be honest but still we'll be including it anyways. So let's go ahead and see the actual record and transcribe. So here's the place uh, where you uh, record and transcribe your speech. Um, so as I said, we made uh, limitations in the demo um, for 24 seconds, but that's usually enough to see the quality of text-to-speech. Um, so it supports um, many languages, um, as you can see here, languages and various dialects as well. Um, so you can record in any of those languages as you prefer. Uh, you can also enable speaker identification. Now, speaker identification supports only um, six or seven languages. Now, that's a limitation from Google, and it's automatically changed whenever you select a language which uh, doesn't support speech to text. As for example, I chose Albanian. Speech to text, speech, speech identification automatically disappears as Albanian doesn't support this uh, with Google yet. I'll select English and just click record. So you have to allow your microphone. Hi there. I'm recording um, a video for YouTube of the demo of our Google speech and wanted to see how transcribe will actually work. Uh, so you can also define project. As you can see, people were creating projects here. So you can create a new one if you want. Um, or the use existing ones for them purposes we just use existing ones so the first the audio file format will be uploaded to your cloud Google bucket a storage bucket and then this crap the, the task for this transcription will happen as you can see the task is already complete and here's the what I was saying on the uh, recording. You can also hear my recording, which is stored. Hi there. Uh, uh, but I'll leave it to you. Uh, you can see it was super fast. Uh, for, audio, for, video uh, for audio files bigger than one minute, um, the cron task has to be enabled. The, the cron ex the ex setup for the cron is also explained in documentation. Um, that's again limitation from Google. It does not respond back immediately uh, audio files bigger than one minute and it can take depending on the audio file size the longer the audio uh, usually the, the, the longer the response time that's why you need to set a cron job which could ideally run every one minute but not every hosting vendor supports um, since script can work on a shared hosting or in a private hosting um, the important factor in terms of the cron task try to set it as minimum as possible so one minute is ideal if, if you can less I'm not sure if the um, hosting provider support this um, you can define uh, less uh, but for example in our case it's set to uh, five minute interval because our hosting provider doesn't provide options to set it lower than five minutes you can also upload your files and do the actual uh, transcription Uh, so I'll not, be, I'll, I'll not be uploading files here since I don't say I have small, small audio files but still this, uh, lim these limitations were set from the admin panel if you remember and the same process um, applies you'll need to select your language of the audio file um, and if, the, if you want to enable speaker identification and if it is supported with the language you can enable it as well and then click transcribe uh, but you can see already transcribed audio files here from people um, uh, 
this actually mine which is just um, uh, recorded so let's go ahead and see it more in depth uh, so as you can see you can take a look at your um, audio file in various seconds and milliseconds and the actual transcript uh, transcript here now let me find you a, a bigger one in terms of the duration so you can see the nice break I think it was there on the let me go to the last page if there is something which lasts a minute or so yeah looks like they're all small And again, okay. Uh, the what I want to show is um, the script. The script actually breaks down based on the seconds as well. Uh, so the longer the second here, it's only um, 22 seconds. But if it's more than like let's say a couple of minutes, you would see the actual breaking down based on the the various sentences in various seconds. And also it can show you in terms of the uh, when you enable speaker identification, it can show you also um, the speaker speaker IDs so so as a speaker one speaker two and so forth you can download your result so you can download this text to speech result a uh, speech to text result and use it as needed also the transcribe project is basically where you can define for example if you had multiple projects you could see under this uh, whatever the appropriate yeah, files are related to that project uh, um, so to say a grouping of your results now your profile page will show you information in terms of um, what what's your current usage for the current 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 months and for the entire year and some uh, personal information which you can edit here uh, you can also go to your profile profile page through the top right corner uh, with this button and you can also change password here as well so it's very uh, sim super simple and intuitive. You can create support requests if you have questions. So since I'm logged in as, as an admin, I see both my user panel and admin panel, but standard users will only see a uh, user panel. Uh, you can create a support ticket uh, with whatever question you might have. Now in notification, you will see the notification created by, um, by admin. You can mark it as red, you can um, delete it. So that's in a nutshell. Um, Google speech to text script powered by, uh, as the name implies, Google. And it's created with um, Laravel framework and written with PHP 7. Point supports and version of PHP 7.4 and, and above, but it's, we strongly recommend to use version 7.4. Um, in the near future, we will update it to version 8 as well. The script is the script, and the link for the script is under the uh, description below. Um, so you can use that link uh, to get the full source code. And within Code Canyon page, we have the link for the documentation as well in terms of how to install and configure um, Google Speech uh, on your um, hosting provider or on your website. Again, this is an independent standalone script, so you can easily, uh, easily install it and run it as you need. So installation, this installation of the script itself takes um, around five minutes or less, and you need some couple more minutes to configure your Google account. Um, for your convenience, we provided step-by-step -step instructions on how to configure a Google account, um, your Google Cloud account for Speech Text and service. Um, but we will also be releasing a separate. Um, Google speech to text configuration video where we will see where we will showcase the same steps um, over video so you can easily uh, follow and um, make the configuration as needed and that's it if you have any questions uh, you can reach out to us either via our uh, code Canyon profile or leave your question in the comments um, so yeah screen the, we will I will also leave the a link for the uh, demo so you can see the live demo by yourself and also you can re redirect you get redirected to uh, Cloud Canyon easily um, via uh, this button and thanks